Hello everyone and welcome Crash here. This is RTA Motorsports and today we're going to be doing a one year review on the Play Seat Challenge. Welcome to RTA Motorsports. Alright everyone and welcome. So thank you for staying along and thank you for coming back to the channel if you have ever been here before. Um, this is basically going to be another sim rig uh, or, or another sim product review. Uh, I've had this chair for about a year now. Um, it's actually going over a year and it is the Placey Challenge. The Placey Challenge, you know, it's, it's a good budget starting point for anyone that's looking for a seat or any sort of wheel stand that cannot afford the space or the price tag of some of these other seats and stands that are out there. Uh, coming in right now, if you go to Play Seats website, you can pick it up for $216.59 here in America. I'm not exactly sure if that includes shipping or not. A lot of these companies are right now doing free shipping because of Black Friday and the holidays. And being that, you know, the holidays are right around the corner, I figured this would be a good video because a lot of people are looking into getting into sim racing or looking into upgrading their rigs um, and trying to get off the desk and uh, trying to see what route to go. So I had this play seat challenge, like I said, for a little over a year. The reason why I bought it is because I'm in an apartment situation right now. So room is kind of an issue. Uh, I wanted to keep everything collapsible, everything very light and movable. Um, also, this could uh, pertain to anyone that has a, um, a rig inside of a room that could be used as a guest room as well, uh, just like this one. Everything I have in this room can be collapsible and basically put it into a closet if need be, um, so that way I could take out the guest bed or anything like that, and this could then be transformed into a guest room. So... The Placey Challenge comes in, uh, the size is 37 by 8 inches by 21.3 inches by 53.2 inches long. Um, one of the key points of the Placey Challenge is that it utilizes real Alcantara. Um, the maximum weight on this, and this is really what got me because the Placey Challenge is a very, very light rig. Um, as a chair wheel stand combination, you could easily pick it up with one hand. Uh, the box itself comes in at 20 pounds, and that's that's with everything. You know, all the packaging material, the cardboard, everything. Um, but the max weight that can sit in this seat is 270 pounds. And from the time you buy it, it could be set up with no tools in less than 10 minutes. And honestly, I can, I can attest for that. As soon as I took it out of the box, it's pretty much all together. You unfold it. Um, and then clip on the uh, pedal deck and you're good to go. Uh, you just gotta basically screw on your wheel onto the, uh, the pedal, uh, on the wheel plate itself. So, as you can see, um, the chair itself can be folded up very quickly. Really doesn't take much to fold up this chair. As well as there's some interesting features that I must say are uh, incorporated in this chair itself. You have the kickstand that's out the left side. This kickstand will prevent you from whenever you're um, bringing up the wheelbase, so you can exit the rig itself. Will prevent it from flipping over on its side. Also, there is dual straps on either side that are Velcro to adjust both the height and seating position of your rig itself. You also have the collapsible nature of it, so you can store it in both closets or even under your bed, with or without the wheel attached. The seating material is real Alcantara, as I said, so it's very durable. Doesn't take much to clean it. Wicks away any sort of fluids. And also gives you that real sporty and comfy feel. And the pedal deck is very versatile, 
allowing you to attach almost every type of pedal on there utilizing a Velcro strap, although I had to utilize basically wire ties because of the pedals are not necessarily made to be mounted on this type of pedal deck. So the play seat challenge, it may not be for everybody. It all depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for a actual car seat solution, one with a slider, one that you could easily get in and out of, you can easily get in and out of this. But as you can see with the way I designed my rig, I've kind of taken that swinging arm out of the equation because once you bring in triple screens very close to you, um, the one negative side to this rig is in order to get out easily, you have to swing the steering wheel up out of the way to the left. And once you bring triple screens real close to you, you kind of run into an issue where you'll hit the screen to the left. So that's a little bit of an issue there. Another one is some of the plastic construction um, around the back of the chair is very I wouldn't say brittle, but I've managed to break it with it just catching on the back of one of my jackets, and that has caused some of the fabric to pull through. It's more of a cosmetic issue because I haven't noticed any stretching, tearing, or anything like that of the fabric. Again, Alcantara is extremely strong. Um, besides that, the chair has worked for all of my needs. It's super comfortable. I have done long races in it. I haven't noticed that the back of my legs felt like the edge of the fabric was cutting off the circulation at all. Um, I've really enjoyed it. I really have. And I do like the collapsible nature of it. It really fits my life at this moment and uh, works for everything that I need it for. So um, if price, if size, and you know, in some occasions, if weight is a little bit of an issue, if you need to be able to move it very easily and very quickly, or maybe even take it to your friend's house if you guys do sim racing uh, with multiple computers all in one place. Uh, this is something that you may want to look into. I know there's some sim racing events that happen. Um, I think there's one down in Texas every so often. This would be a perfect rig to take. Throw it in your trunk with a wheel and you're good to go. On the other hand, it has not eliminated my want for something more. Uh, I do intend to get a permanent rig um, and maybe we'll use this one for a spare computer with um, a secondary rig in the future or as my travel rig uh, if I do intend to do that. But that being said, it does not eliminate the want and need for something more. And that, you know, that's a part of the human experience, I know, and there will always be a want and need for something more. But looking at some of these 8020 rigs online, or even something like the next level motion rig or anything like that that can be built up and modified into something more where you could start with on that rig you could start with the wheel um, the wheel stand and you know so on and so forth it has definitely sparked my interest further into sim racing it has established itself that I do want something more and I don't think it's a replacement for those types of seats so don't look at it that as that as well as don't consider it a viable option for any of the direct drive or maybe even the Fnatic um, offerings because uh, Thrustmaster TX, the T300 and the T500, I consider to be kind of the max wheel that you really want to put on this because the torque alone, you do notice some flexing with the pedal deck. Um, it's really unnoticeable when you're playing, when you're actually in the vehicle and you're going and you're in the middle of a race. And, and if there's any flex at all, you don't notice it while you're racing. Although I must say there, there is flex there and you kind of get the feeling that if you really had something that had quite a bit of torque or weighed quite a bit more, um, you could probably damage, uh, the the wheel deck itself especially where it tilts the hand knob on there to to basically clamp down the the wheel deck so you don't want to go too crazy with it uh this is definitely a beginner seat and wheel stand but it's an awesome one and it has served me great over the past year and it probably will continue to serve me great over the next few years 
So again, this is Crash. This is RTA Motorsports. Kind of curious to see what you're all racing with and what your rigs look like. Definitely leave them in the leave some links in the comments below. Uh, if you do have the Place Eat Challenge, let me know uh, your thoughts on it and if it's something you've been using for a while and if you do intend to upgrade or is it kind of suiting all your needs just as it is. See you all out on the track. Have a great day.